Hello, this is Matthew Preeby, Field Service Representative for Labrie Plus. Today we're going to be discussing replacing the dead man switch and the auxiliary function switches for the multiplexed and non-multiplexed joysticks. Essentially, from this point forward on both of these, they are the same. To begin disassembly of the joystick, you're going to require a T15 Torx driver bit and a 5 30 seconds Allen. The Torx driver will be required to remove these two screws located at the top of the stick. And the 5 30 seconds Allen will be required to remove this Allen bolt here and there's one 180 degrees out on the opposite side. As previously stated, remove the two Allen bolts that are secured in the bottom part of the housing to the base of the joystick. Continue by removing both torque screws from the upper part of the joystick housing. At this point, you can separate the joystick handle housing. Exercise caution when doing this as the dead man lever is spring loaded. Once separated, you can remove the dead man lever and spring from the joystick handle housing. Once you've removed the hardware that secures the two halves of the joystick housing together, you'll notice that the function switches have gray silicone and adhesive around the nuts for the switches. You will have to remove the silicone and adhesive to remove the switch. Once you're at the point of removing the function switch, please note that on one side of the switch there are two wires and on the other side there is one. While the switch is not polarity sensitive, you want to ensure that the two wires stay together on the one side of the switch. Exercise caution when using the soldering gun to remove the wires from the switch, ensuring that you do not burn the wires. Now that the wires have been removed from the switch, remove the back nut from the switch and remove switch from the housing. Continue by installing the new switch with supplied star washer and retaining nut. Ensure that the terminals are horizontal to the joystick housing. Continue by soldering wire leads onto the new terminals for the switch. Now that we've completed the function switch replacement, we'll move on to the dead man switch. The dead man switch is located at the lower end of the joystick base. The switch slides into the housing. Please note that the plunger actuator faces in the upwards position. To remove this, you will have to take out this Torx bit slash flathead screw that secures the harness down and cut these two zip ties. Then this switch will slide out of the base and you can unsolder. At this point, we can remove the dead man switch from the joystick handle housing. Simply pull switch straight up. 
You have to use a solder gun to remove the wire leads that are attached to the old switch. Please note the orientation of these leads. They are closest to the actuator button on the switch. Your new switch will come with wire leads already attached to the back terminals. Use a solder gun and remove the wire leads and discard. At this point, we can reassemble the two halves of the joystick housing. You're going to want to ensure that the perimeter seal around the one half of the joystick housing is properly installed, leaving the one end loose for the dead man actuator lever. You're going to want to reinstall the two zip ties that were holding these harnesses down with the one clip and the Torx bit screw. When you install the dead man lever, ensure that the spring is at the top side of the lever and insert the lower end into the pivot point and the pin through the gasket. When installing the dead man actuator lever, ensure that the spring is located in the boss at the top side of the lever. At this point, you're ready to reassemble the joystick. Ensure that the perimeter seal is in place, squeeze the ends together, and install the mounting hardware. Thank you for watching this Labrie how-to video.